Let's take a look at an example of a remote exec script. So here we have a couple and just to quickly go through it, the idea is you uh, define your resource. So here it's just a uh, virtual machine on AWS and we are provisioning, our provisioner is going to be remote exec. And so we're able to put these inline commands and say, okay, let's run puppet apply. And then we'll use console join, which is the CLI for HashiCorp console. So um, there are three different modes for a remote exec. The first is inline list of command strings, which is what we are seeing over here. Uh, and then the other option is we can provide a script or scripts. So the idea is that you would, um, well, you just specify those locations and it would run it. Uh, what's interesting here is that it doesn't say, um, like, cause we saw with local exec that we could use uh, an interpreter. And so it's my assumption that it's just going to use bash or it's going to use a script that is executable, right? Where you have a shebang in the top there. Uh, and so that's something, you know, I might uh, test out. It's not something that's gonna be on the exam, but maybe we'll just uh, test out that theory because it's not in the documentation as of the time I'm recording this. 